This episode is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, the number one seller of games and gaming accessories. And GatheringMagic.com, the number one resource for Magic the Gathering, news and articles. Hi, my name is Fabio Ashby, and this is Karn Silver Golem. This is Karn Silver Golem. This is my EDH deck. So the lands, of course, we have the uh, the Locust Package, Vesuva, um, Glimmer Post, and Cloud Post. So that gets you a lot of lands. We also are going with the Urza Tron. All the Urza's land, Mine Tower, uh, Power Plant, and Factory. Um, other basic lands that we have. Maze of Ith, Dust Bowl, Crystal Vein, Ink Moth Nexus, Gargoyle Castle, Strip Mine, Stocking Stones, Deserted Temple, Quicksand, Tower of the Magistrate, Petrified Field, Tectonic Edge, Dread Statuary, Unstable Frontier, Swarm Yard, Springjack Pasture, Winding Cannon, Mirrorness Core, Gate, God's Eye, Maze of Shadows, Esper Panorama, Ghost Town, Ancient Tomb, Desert, Blake Moth Well, Mika Koro, Ghost Qu Quarter, Zoya Cavern, and those are all the lands. Now, the reason that, uh, those are all the lands is because we have no colors in here, so we can't run any special lands, so they all have to add colorless. So the creatures, we have the Steel Overseer, since this is an artifact deck, makes all the artists bigger. Mirror Shiver gets artifacts back, same, back, same thing with uh, Junk Driver. Loadstone Mirror, you can tap all your artifacts to make them big. Again, get artifacts back. Power Artifact, you know, a big good guy is Masticor, and then Razor Man Masticor. Duplicate is pretty much the only removal that you have in Mono Artifact. Triskelion as well. Pentavis makes guys, gets big. Dark Steel Gargoyle, he's indestructible, which combos with other cards in the deck. Another big guy, more removal. Another big guy who gets bigger, you can add a lot of mana, just make him huge. Centering Titan, since he doesn't blow up any of your lands, you can just always target someone else's. Another big guy, and then another big guy. So, then we have our uh, regular artifacts. Of course, we have Everflowing Chalice to add mana. Brittle Effigy is more removal. Uh, Meek Stone makes a lot of things not untapped, so it buys you time because you need to build up in this deck. Graveyard Removal, of course you have Top, Mana Bolts, more Graveyard Removal. Voltaic Key, again, artifacts, you can pretty much do anything with that. Skull Clamp, you know, combos with the 1-1s, Pentapus, etc. As more mana, it turns into a guy. Temporal Aperture is probably the funnest card in this deck because you never know what you're going to get. You can get anything from a Mirror Retriever to a Dark Steel Colossus, which has happened. Uh, scrying. Uh, again, more untapping effects. Proliferate effects, plus minus one, minus counted, more removal. Scroll rack. Grimonolith, which is another combo piece. Uh, Helling Mind, which draws more cards. It's great in multiplayer games because you uh, try to get attention off of you. Greaves, just so you can keep cards safe. Add more mana, draw some cards if need be. Blow up things. More scrying. Draw lots of cards, any time an artifact goes into the place, every turn this gets out of control. Add more mana, this is probably the main combo piece in here. Uh, Oblivion Stone, more removal. Nuisance Engine makes guys great with Skull Clamp. Again, another draw cards for everybody, good uh, political card. We'll take a Construct, again, he's the main combo in here. Once you get uh, Karn in play, one of your... Um, add a bunch of uh, mana artifacts other than the Everflowing Chalice. You can pay, you can tap through, add three, and then use one to untap it so it gives you un infinite mana because you'll turn that artifact into a creature and so you can untap it. Erratic Portal, again, and you can bounce things if need be. More mana. Artbound Crusher, big guy, since all, all, the deck is all artifacts, anything time you pl anytime you play anything, he just gets bigger. Again, Vernal Stiss, more removal. Green Teldum is a pet card of mine. A lot of people don't really like it, but it can get any artifact or really any card in any deck it's in from your opponent's library. So doing that, I mean, usually can grab soul rings or anything that's huge in artifact because every deck is running artifacts. Uh, another guy that gets big, card draw. Uh, with infinite mana, you can kill anybody, kill everybody on the table. More removal because you can just untouch it uh, and uh, kill something, which this deck really has problems with as creatures. 
Helm Possession, again, more with those pest tokens, things like that, you can sack them and gain control of other creatures. Uh, prototype Portal, I mean, really allows you to copy anything in the deck that you have in your hand, um, so you can really, really go nuts with this card. World Slayer, again, it combos with all the indestructible guys, so if you quick this up to, like, the Dark Steel Gargoyle, and then hit someone for three, you blow up the entire board except for him, and he stays equipped, so every single time, you just blow up the entire world, so it pretty much wins you the game. More Artifact, Mana, Make Infinite Guys with Infinite Mana. This is, uh, Blink Moth Urn really gets you going, you know, with more artifacts that you have, the, the more mana you're going to add, the faster you go. More card draw. Removal plus proliferate. So, you know, there are counters in here that you can get up, so proliferate's never bad. Uh, tutor. Of course, Dark Steel Forge to make all your guys indestructible. And the last card in here is All is Dust. Since all everything you have is colorless, All is Dust says destroy all non-land permanents that everyone else controls, so it's really, really good. Thanks for watching CMDR Decks. Please subscribe and favorite.